Okay, so I got to use my Yurt Craft pads way sooner than I thought I was going to. For some reason, I was totally thinking, well, I had a period in January already, so... But sometimes I run into those months where the way things work out, I have one at the beginning, one at the end, you know. So I got to try out my Your Craft way sooner than I thought, so I thought I would bring you a little review for them. So I really enjoyed the Your Craft pads. I have an 8 inch heavy and I have a 13 and a half moderate. I love the little squirrel print, so cute, and pink. Pink is by far one of my favorite colors. So, and I thought their little reusable uh, print was cute. Apparently somebody told me they were known for this print or something like that. Not sure, don't quote me on that. But, so, first I'm gonna talk about the shape. I really like this shape. Uh, because it is a mixture of kind of different pads that I like. It is more squared, but still got a nice roundness to the top, which I really, really like. And I'm always into these triangle-shaped wings. Just because on some days I feel like the extra bulk down there just kind of maybe irritates me a little. So, I have been liking the triangle the more triangular triangular shaped wings with that yeah these pads don't really have much droopage to them which is nice this is the heavy i'll show you the thickness it is pretty thick but for me i don't mind like extra thickness really I actually find that pads can be more comfortable like if I'm going for a feel of nothing's there then yes I'm probably going to go for a thinner moderate maybe but I do like having thicker pads because I do find that they can be more comfortable for me well depending what they're made out of I prefer flannel really um for thick thick pads just because I find that to be most comfortable but cotton is definitely up there with being pretty comfortable in a thick pad for myself you obviously have a different body type and may find something else comfortable and <laughs> everybody's different but this is um cotton top and this is a bit short I do have to use this on which I'm not sure. It's all they had really. There wasn't much on the site when I was ordering. I was just like, I really want to try a yurt craft. And I had been looking for a little while. I didn't really see anything. And I love this print. And I was kind of sad it was 8 inches and it was heavy. Because 8 inches for me just doesn't work unless it is a liner. So I only got to use this when I was spotting for starting, you know, ending kind of thing like that. Uh, but I have issues with incontinence like really bad and I find that I can use shorter pads with that and it held up really nice did not leak on me was really great so I very much enjoyed that I'm not sure what the gusset size is this is the heavy and it is four fingers across engagement rings being weird four fingers across but I find with heavies I kind of like that more is I don't know for some reason it just seems like how I started out with cloth pads has changed very much so I'm finding that the the four inch across as long as it's a thick enough pad works really well for me and this one's the same as the gusset size this is my 13 and a half and this is what it looks like it does have a little bit of bunching underneath and a little bit of droopage, but I think you would expect that with having such a long pad and not a super heavy absorbency. I find that the longer pads have less bunching when they the heavier they are. So, and this is still pretty heavy, I think, for a moderate. But I found them very, very comfortable, and I didn't leak from this. I don't think I'd ever leak from a 13 and a half inch unless it was, there was literally nothing in it. 
then I might leak from it. But I really, really love this print. I'm obsessed with pink. It's my favorite color. And the cute little squirrels obviously helped with the cuteness. Don't look at my nails. They're hideous. But <laughs> helped with the cuteness. So I'm sorry if I'm rambling a little bit. It's been a bit since I've done a review. So I'm just trying to get everything going through my head. And the prices for these pads, um, they're pretty normal to pretty much what everybody else's charges, I would think. I can't remember exactly what I paid for them, but it was something like a dollar per inch or something like that. Or I might have paid just a little bit less than a dollar per inch because I don't think this was $14. So they may have better prices than some other places. I'm thinking this one though was seven something and it's an eight inch and this one was 11 or 12 dollars and it's a 13.5 inch. So a little bit less than a dollar per inch and I know your craft is one of those that pretty much everybody knows about but if you for some reason don't know about them, haven't heard about them, I'll put the link in the description box for you. Or if you just already love them, go ahead and go back and purchase more from them. I probably will. I think this is a very nice shape. Works well for me. And that is about all I have to say for your craft. I will definitely probably be purchasing from them again in the future. And I know it's been a little bit since I've done a review. I'm sorry if I really like missed anything of importance for you but I do hope this did help a little bit or give you some information that's all I'm really trying to do with my videos and have a little bit of fun so thank you for watching